Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo, and uh, this is obviously Diablo 3. Um, and you might notice down the corner there, this is patch 2.3. So I thought I'd take a look at uh, some of the changes and updates in uh, patch 2.3. I'm just quickly checking to see I've got nothing in my inventory. Because um, it's a fairly major patch, adds a bunch of new stuff. Um, and this is actually me playing it. I have played it on... Um, I have played it on the PTR, but this is my first time playing it live. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that I have a bunch of infernal machines that used to be uh, keys. This is because the old um, keys that you used for infernal machines have gone away. And um, we now just have these, which apparently I can't stack. Ah, because they're different kinds. That's right. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, basically these function essentially... Um, these drop off the key wardens. Um, of which there's one in each of the four original acts. Um, and to use them, you basically... You used to have to get four keys to make one of these, but they've now decided to eliminate the keys altogether and just give you the infernal machines themselves. So that'll make life easier. Especially because I've had terrible luck with drop rates on those things. Um, so the next thing to look at is Rift Keystones. Um, and you'll notice I have... They're all greyed out now. You notice I have a lot of them at the moment. Probably not as many as a lot of people have though, but uh, yeah. Um, and you'll notice they're all greyed out and worth about 500,000 gold per stack. That's because you no longer need rift keystones to open rifts. So we will go and vendor those because we don't need them anymore. Um, and finally, you'll notice that these don't have numbers on them. Greater rift keystones now open whatever rift you want. So what that means is I can stack all of these together. And in fact, what I'm going to do is... Oh, that's weird. Um, oh, I've stacked it to 100, that's why. Okay, so they stack to 100. Okay, um, I, I had no idea that they stacked to 100. I'm going to move those into here. Um, that frees up... Well, mostly frees up that tab. Um, so we'll go off to the merchant and just vendor our thing. You might also notice that uh, Zoltan Cool's hanging around. Uh, so we'll go chat to Zoltan Cool. So... lies in the ruins of Seshron, guarded by the spirit of a mighty warrior who will only grant it to the worthy. I think you will have a better chance of impressing this spirit than I. Aid me in this, and I'll use the artifact to help you. Okay, so Zoltan called there is um, giving us... Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to that. Z Zoltan Cool uh, there is giving us um, the information we need to talk about uh, the, probably the biggest addition to patch 2.3, which is um, the cube that's been added. I think it's called Canals Cube, and it's been added to uh, the Act 3 area. So we'll head off to Act 3, and we'll head off here. Yeah, Canals Cube, that's what it's called. Um, so we'll head off here, and uh, we'll do the Ruins of Seshoron while we're here. And we'll pick up a Canai's Cube, which I don't actually have. Um, I got one on the PTR, but obviously this is the live servers now, so um, we don't have it yet. And uh, So Ruins of Seshoron was apparently planned to originally... Well, has okay. Seshoron. Um, we will fight until we are no more. This was apparently planned to be part of oh, hello. Uh, the Reaper of Souls expansion, but ended up being cut at the last minute, um, so it never became available in the expansion. Um, and I have been here before, so you'd think I'd know where to go, wouldn't you? But, uh, but yeah, we'll work our way around. It's a really cool looking area. Um, it's basically one of two areas that's been added to the game now that's exclusive to the adventure mode. Um, the other one, of course, being uh, the um, is it the Westmarch sewers. It's called no, not the Westmarch sewers. The um, the catacombs or whatever it is, which you only ever see when you're in um, rifts. Um, so this is the second major area that's been added since Reaper of Souls. Um, uh, apparently, one thing this hasn't fixed is the weird lag spikes I've been getting when I've been playing Diablo 3 lately. So that's something I'll just have to watch out for. So I'm not sure what's causing that. Oops. Got a little bit close there. So Anyway, work our way around here. Pick up all the goodies. Um, this is... Uh, I'm only playing on Torment 6. Um, 
I did actually intend to increase the difficulty and completely forgot before I started the video. Um, there's also been four new Torment levels. Torment 7 through 10 have been added. Um, and they're equivalent basically to Greater Rift levels, I believe 30, 35, 40 and 45. Um, so Torment 6 is equivalent to about Greater Rift 25. Um, and as you can see with this character, I'm absolutely killing it here. I had intended to go up. I can do Torment um, 7 pretty easily, so I had intended to do that. Um, and uh, it's just a case of not having, uh, not having done that before I started the video. So I just forgot a little bit. Um, so yeah, we can't go that way, we have to go this way. So, so Sesheron is basically the city from which the Barbarians originally came. You can see there's a couple of ghost guys walking around here. Um, there's actually a side quest that we can do involving them uh, at some point as well, so we'll just uh, clear these out. We will encounter a guy we can talk to, um, who will give us a quest to clear this area. So, that's related to the cube. Um, in fact, I think that's what that arrow is pointing to there, so... I did this uh, early on in the PTR cycle, um, and so it's been a while, and it may have changed a little bit since I um, first did it, so, but yeah. Um, looks like my current build, which is based around the Unhallowed Essence uh, here, is uh, still pretty good, so that's always nice to know. So, anyway, take these guys out. Ah. It's really annoying. So, in a lot of ways, this is probably the, the big new content part for the new patch, but there's been a huge number of quality of life changes and various other bits and pieces as well. Um, so, but yeah, the, the Can Ice Cube has the interesting property that it can basically absorb legendary affixes. So you can take, I can't remember exactly what, I think it's like two or three affixes from different legendaries and attach them to the cube, which you then equip yourself. Once you've done that, you get access to those um, powers above and beyond any other gear you have equipped. So it lets you customise yourself a little bit more than you might otherwise do, and it allows you to do things like, if you get a badly rolled legendary or something like that with a good affix, you can use the affix without sacrificing your current weapon. What I'd like is a replacement for the clock eye that uh, my demon hunter's been using. Um, okay, so we need to talk to this guy. I am Abdul Hazir. You may have heard of me and my disappearance. No? Well, I was captured months ago by the Coven in retaliation for secretly observing one of their rituals. But you, madam, have secured your place in the history books by rescuing me. I can assure you. No, no, no. No thanks are necessary. So, um, remember the, uh... Remember the adventurer guy that gives you all the tips um, in the original Diablo 3? Yeah, that's him. So, uh, that's really cool. Anyway, we'll keep working our way down here because we've got to go this way. Through this door. And then we have to kill this guy. High Shaman of the Ice Clan. Okay, that was uh, easy. Now we have to ascend to the top of the Ziggurat. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. We're uh, going up. Cool. No, we're not going up. That's coming down, isn't it? That's what's happening at the moment. Um, so we basically got to stop all the enemies from coming onto the Zerat. So that should be nice and easy for us. We're done, so we'll claim our reward. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that was the actual bounty we had to do in this area. Um, I still don't appear to have the cube though, do I? Yeah. Well, we're going to keep going around um, and just... We'll give this area a full exploration just while we're here. Um, shouldn't take too long. But, uh, but there, there is a little bit more. There's a chest over there too. There's a little bit more to this area from memory. I remember doing another quest as well. Um, and yeah, we've got the adventurer guy. I didn't get him when I did this on the PTR actually, so... That's really cool. So. Oh wow, okay. Um, let's uh, be a bit careful going through here. I imagine they're like the um, the blades that you encounter in, uh, I think it's the... Under the Mansion in Act 1. 
where you have those uh, blades that cross over the path as you work your way along it. So, this way. Um, remind me to not use my discipline very much. The Unhallowed Essence has a thing where uh, one of its um, one of its uh, set bonuses is actually increasing your damage based on how much discipline you have. So, just try to avoid using too much discipline. Um, anyway, yeah, what I was also going to say was, um, hmm, what was I going to say? Something. Anyway, uh, we'll get through here, we'll take these guys out. And yeah. Could have been the one to change that with his indomitable spirit. Though it's strong, so a bit more lore regarding uh, can I here. His true um, so go up here lay in his and into the Elder Sanctum. So yes, I remember this now. So we clear our way through here. So as I said before, Cetron is basically like the city of the barbarians. So it's where all the barbarians themselves actually came from, um, and it was destroyed. I believe basically alongside Mount Ariat when Mount Ariat was destroyed in the Diablo 2. I, I never played Diablo 2 so I can't remember the exact details, but something like that anyway. So, so. But yeah, basically um, it was destroyed alongside Mount Ariat um, when uh, whatever it was that happened in the expansion pack um, happened. So. And we get to come back here now, so that's really cool. Um, so I guess if you're a big fan of Diablo 2, you're getting a bit of extra lore here alongside that. I think Session was ever actually accessible in Diablo 2, um, but it was just sort of mentioned that that's what happened. It is mentioned, I think, in one of the uh, lore pieces to Diablo 3 when you're um, going through the fortress. There's a bunch of lore that um, you get from Deckard Kane's books. Okay, there's a cursed chest here, so I'm just gonna... Uh, oh, and a legendary, apparently. So I'm just gonna do this uh, cursed chest. Pick that up. Let's see how much inventory space we've got. Okay, heaps. Okay, kill 100 enemies to win a bonus chest. Nice and easy. So, assuming I can do 100 enemies fairly easily with this character. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using uh, Shakram as a spirit generator, it's because I have the... Um, Legendary Quiver that gives Chakram a Spirit Generator capability and makes it super dangerous. So, that's kind of the focus of this build actually is um, switching between Chakram and Multi Shot, which Multi Shot gets bonuses from um, the set, uh, the Unhallowed Essence set, but it also um, has the advantage of triggering my rings, which you can see the ring buffs down uh, above the uh, action bar there. That's uh, a new feature of that ring. So we did that really easy. A new feature of that ring set, which is, um, what is it? The Yeah, Bastion of Will, Focus and Restraint Rings. So we got the chests, so that's really cool. Um, there's actually a new chest type in the expansion as well, which you get for doing boss bounties. Basically, any bounty that involves killing a boss type monster um, will now grant a uh, new type of chest that offers better loot than the um, resplendent chests. So that's good. That that's separate to um, the cursed chest events and stuff like that. It can also be bounties like what we just did there. So, so it's only for boss bounties basically that gives that. So any bounty that involves killing a boss or a boss type monster. So, didn't engage a treasure goblin, did I? No. Just saw a. St I always get paranoid when I see like gold laid out in a line like that because I'm like, oh, was there a treasure goblin that I missed there? I was like, nope. Okay. Cool. So go this way. Got to keep working our way through here. This is actually quite a bit bigger than I remember it being. I don't remember going all this way through here, but then again, um, I might have been like doing other stuff as I went through on the PTR. So, or it might have been slightly shorter on the PTR. I don't know for sure. Um, but whatever the case, we are, I think, near where we need to be for the final part as well. You can also probably tell there's a bunch of new enemy types as well. So, um, especially these guys who, um, yeah, like to tunnel through the ground at us. So, get those guys out of the way. There we go up here. Get the pool of reflection. Come down this way. 
So, Ruins of Session, um, I think it's a really cool new area. Um, I like that Blizzard have been adding actual sort of new zones to the game like Okay, there's only been two since Reaper of Souls launched, um, but I still think that's pretty good. So, and I like that this gives... The, in I, I especially like that this gives another extension to the game sort of story. Um, the downside, of course, this is again only accessible in Adventure Mode, which I suppose is the mode Blizzard wants everyone playing, because why wouldn't you play Adventure Mode once you're done with the story? Um, but at the same time, I guess it's uh, frustrating for people who haven't yet picked up the expansion, because of course Adventure Mode is um, gated behind having Reaper of Souls. That said, at this point, honestly, if you've got Diablo 3 and you don't have Reaper of Souls, just, I, I don't know, save your money, get Reaper of Souls. Um, because the game is not even half the game it should be without the expansion. Um, it's just... There's so much available in Reaper of Souls that isn't in the base game anymore. Um, it's just not worth it without it, really. Um, and I know people who are like, Oh, I picked up Diablo 3 and I just thought I'd play it and then buy Reaper of Souls. I'm, no, 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 no. You need to get Reaper of Souls because you're missing half the game. And they, they're especially when they have a bad experience with the game because they get the game and they say, Oh, I didn't really enjoy it that much. I'm like, That's because you didn't have the expansion that adds all the fun stuff to the game. And it's a bit of a shame that Blizzard chose the gate behind the expansion. I, 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 I accept that. Um, but... I think at this point you can't really form a full opinion on what Diablo 3 is without having played it with Reaper of Souls. Um, where are we going here? Around here, apparently. This way? Ah, this way. Yep. Okay. So this map's a bit different to the one I remember uh, from the PTR, but then again I only did this once on the PTR and it was a long time ago. Well, it was early in the PTR cycle, so it's probably changed pretty dramatically since I did it. Um, we've gone back to there, which we don't need to be, we need to keep going this way. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, cool. Basically I'm just looking for parts of the map I haven't explored yet. So, as we go towards here, that looks like it might be important. How about we head the Immortal Throne? Yeah, this looks super important. So head up here. Um, talk to the dude. It is strange they have placed Kanai's corpse on the immortal throne, as he died before he could be crowned king. I suspect we have to fight him. Or not? Okay. Um, have I missed something important here? I feel like I may have missed something here. Um, what have I missed? Why is nothing happening? Am I supposed to talk to a guy before we get here, am I? I have a suspicion there was someone I was meant to talk to that I missed. So I'll just go back out this way for a sec. I'll just clear these guys out. I'll just have a look at... There's a couple of sideways here. Um, no? Okay. Hmm. This wasn't how it happened the last time I did this. Um, I do remember talking to, like, a barbarian guy who, um, gave me... I think that was just an event, though. I don't think that was anything particularly special. So, maybe we just have to shoot him? No, that doesn't work. Maybe have to shoot these guys. That doesn't work either. I'm just gonna, uh, spend my, uh... There we go. Spend that. I'm gonna head back out, because I think I have to find someone that I haven't found. Where have I not been? I haven't been over there. I've been most of the way around here. Well, we'll just go back and just fill out those uh, unfinished areas. Didn't expect this to um, quite go this way, unfortunately. Not enough discipline. I feel like I've missed something that I didn't intend to miss, so... There's something over here that we didn't get to, but it might just be a little cut-off area. No, that looks pretty full-on. Yeah, this looks like a place that we should be going. Ah, this is what we're looking for. Okay, so I, I, I had, a, had in fact gone the wrong way. Um, hmm, interesting. So do I, like, just click it? There we go. Excellent. You and I will do great things with this, my friend. Okay. The cube was used by my Aradrum brothers in many of their most complex... Um, I'll skip over the wall, you can listen to that yourself. So that's what we came here for, was Kenai's Cube. Um, 
I'm curious though, now that I've got the cube, if I go back to that throne room, I just wonder if there's anything interesting there um, now. Because um, I was assuming the throne room was something we had to do. Um, I never actually got this far in the, in the PTR version. Um, but yeah, so I was assuming... I'll just start. Uh, fast travel my way there, because I'm a demon hunter and I can. No. Okay, so that's just there for looks. That's cool. Um, okay, let's head back to town, uh, which will be Bastion's Keep, I think, because we're in Act 3. Uh, we'll have a look at the cube. So, and I'll give a brief idea of what the cube can do. Okay, so we now have... Oh, and, yeah, okay, apparently he wants to be thanked. Now, where'd Zoltan Call go off to? Well, that's not what I wanted. Ah, there he is. Ah, and this is our cube. So. Okay, so it all has recipes and stuff. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, you get, there's a whole bunch of new crafting materials. Um, yeah, and we get legendary items of special power, and then we have to match up with these things. Um, so, for example, I could get... Oh, that doesn't have a special power. Um, do I have a legendary item with a special power? Yeah. Reforge. Oh, that's right, because you can extract a legendary power, um, which is this one. We won't be able to do this, because I think we need, we need these um, bits here. But, yeah, you can do that. Um, you can upgrade a rare item, you can convert a set item, and you can remove level requirements from an item if you have the gem of ease. So everything requires a bunch of stuff um, to do all this. Um, and you can create... Oh, okay. So I wasn't aware of that one. And you can convert crafting materials. So that's really cool. Um, so I'll just quickly, I don't have, I haven't done any uh, Act Bounty, so I haven't picked up any of the extra items we need, um, but I just wanted to see, so let's see if we've got a, hmm, I use a lot of fire skills actually, I'm tempted, tempted by that one. Um, I do know for a fact that uh, set bonuses aren't extractable from Kenai's Cube, it's only the, well you can see the orange text there, um, in those Boots of Disregard or those things there, so you can't, it has to have orange text, so that wouldn't work. Um, that wouldn't work. But that would, uh, assuming of course you're a barbarian where that would actually give you that ability. Um, that would work. This belt would work. And of course Syndicate would work. Um, so I'll just, I was just seeing if there's anything I could use. See, I could actually take the legendary affix for my old quieter shot. This is like a level 60 item that I ha I've had since the original game, you can tell by the shape of the gem that's embedded in it, um, my old Kryder shot that I had from ages ago. So I could take uh, the affix out of that. Um, I don't think I can actually do this because I don't have the crafting mats for it just yet. Um, but if we grab that... Yeah, so you can see... Uh, obviously once you do it, um, you unlock it for all time and then you can just slot those powers in up here down there. So. At the moment, though, I don't believe I have uh, what I need to do this, which is um, the, yeah. So you need these crafting items, which you get from bounties now. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll put the Crider back in. Um, I'm really tempted to get that, actually, because the Crider shot's really cool. And I haven't been able to get a level 70 Crider um, yet, so... Anyway, um, so that's what Kenai's Cube does. Um, just while we're here, we'll just uh, salvage all our uh, items, because I don't really need any of the stuff that we picked up. I don't really want that Heart of Iron because it's terrible. Um, and I'm a demon hunter and not like a class that could benefit from it. So, it's, uh, so I just whack all these in my stash. I have a nicely organized stash. All that kind of stuff. Uh, the other thing I'll just quickly show is the new interface for this. So you don't need a key for uh, Nephilim Rifts. Um, and if you click Greater Rift, it'll be like, oh, hey, what level do you want to do? And I've done up to level 33 here. And you can see it even indicates where the Torment... Uh, levels fall. Um, so, in fact, level 30 is Torment 7. Yeah. So, yeah. And you can see the, the difficulty. So, level 1 is hard, and yeah. That's what the equivalent uh, Greater Rift difficulties are. 
um, at the moment. I, I haven't done beyond level 33, most because I don't do a lot of greater rifts. Um, but one of the reasons for that at the moment is because I was actually saving all my rift keys because I knew that this would happen. I didn't want to get rid of my rift keys. So, so. anyway, um, that's a quick introduction to uh, patch 2.3 and what it offers, as well as showing you the ruins of Cesaron area with the cube. Um, I obviously need to go find more uh, crafting materials before I actually use the cube in any useful way, but uh, that's uh, not going to be very hard, I don't think. Um, so yeah, so that's just a quick overview of what's going on with Diablo 3 at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, it's shaping up to be really fun. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what I can do with the cube and some of the new items. There's new season, of course, which starts later this week as well, so that'll be... Um, That'll be fun. I didn't really do much in the way of season participation. In fact, I've just noticed that my um, season items there are still waiting for me. It's like I didn't even get a character level 70 in the last season. So, but I may do that uh, this season because it looks like it's going to be a much more interesting season. Um, so yeah, so that's patch 2.3 um, with a whole bunch of really cool new stuff, and um, that will also be the end of the video. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.